remember that favorite love song that drew your thoughts so to that special one? Or that love song that you and your special one call your own? Do those kind of songs still exist today? Or are they just a thing of the past? Let's find out. My guests today know all too well about those love songs and their influences. When we come back from our commercial break, we are going to meet and talk to Mr. Lawrence Payton Jr., who is one of the legendary Four Tops. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Dr. Tanisha Ford is an ordained minister, inspirational, highly motivational speaker, and acclaimed author of I Miss the Hugs, Not the Hurt, and This is a Comma in Your Life, Not a Period. To book Dr. Tanisha Ford to speak and motivate your staff, organization, or church, or to order her life-changing books today, I Miss the Hugs, Not the Hurt, and This is a Comma in Your Life, Not a Period, just visit drtford.com. That's drtford.com. GNLD, empowering people since 1958 with life-changing products. Vitality Aloe Vera Plus reduces stress, fights fatigue, normalizes blood sugar. Tree NN Grain Concentrate, enhance cellular function. Full Motion, renewals and repairs cartilage in joints for comfort. For more information, call the ESIM team. Independent GNLD distributors at 313-408-6489. 313-408-6489. GNLD. I am so excited. This is the most exciting show. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Dr. Tanisha Jai Ford Show. My guest today is the one and only Lawrence Payton Jr. of the legendary Four Tops. That would be me, folks. And we're going to talk about our love songs, a thing of the past. Lawrence, welcome to the show. I am so Thank honored. You. Thank I'm you for having honored. me. I know I'm honored. Thank you so much for being on the show. Absolutely. Now, <laughs> this show is so dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Because the producer came to me, we talked about this, and we mm -hmm. talked about the different love songs of the day, and we thought you'd be the best guest for this show. Okay. Our love songs, real love songs from the heart, are they a thing of the past? No, they're not. As long as we got great songwriters, like you got your baby faces, and you got some young guys coming up, Neo writes great love songs. No, they're not. You know, um, they're here to stay. Okay, but this Absolutely. is my concern. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go back in history a little bit. Okay. Okay, now you're Lawrence Payton Jr. You're the son of one of the original Four Tops. Right. Okay, now this is what I'm getting at for okay. this, particular, this particular topic. When we look at love songs in yesteryears, mm -hmm. we're talking about the late 50s, mm -hmm. you know, the early 60s. At that time, it was like, it was the love revolution. Absolutely. Okay? And, and when you all wrote those lyrics to the songs, it's like you were ministering and you were dictating how love was going to be between a man and a woman. It was so heartfelt. It was committed. Absolutely. You know, they were in it for the long haul. That's right. Okay? And, and now you have to agree that the songs of today are not like that. So let's go back to back, back in the years. What inspired you guys, or should I say your father and mm -hmm. the original four, what inspired them to write songs like that? Their parents. Their parents, okay. Their aunties, their grandmothers, and things like that. Because what you do, you, you're writing about things that you see, that you covet, you know what I'm th saying? And nowadays, the, the younger people, they don't hear, they don't have, um, they don't have a grandmother that's real compassionate and sweet and love and tell them all the sweet thing. Oh, you're my sugar pie, honey, but you're my baby. And it's those things, you know, that we take and we interpret and put them in music. Okay. So it's, it's just those. It's, it's the, 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 the family unit, basically. You know, yeah. we don't have that anymore. Okay. Now, going back to the, back into the late 50s, mid 50s, late 50s, mm -hmm. there was a time in the music industry where I think the songs were more geared toward dancing, mm -hmm. like American Bandstand with right. Dick Clark. Okay, and then I think on the on when the sixties came along, the Diana Ross, Four Tops, Temptations. Okay, the songs were like poetry. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying you That's know, exactly and, what and, they were. And and not only that, the, 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 it was there, there were songs that when a man and woman heard the song, it was like you were teaching them. You know, this is how you treat your woman. This and is how you treat your. It's exactly right. It's you exactly what, what you were doing. Okay, the values. Okay, so I guess my question is. When those songs were written, did, were, they, were they written by a songwriter or did the group collaborate and write these songs themselves or did you have somebody on stage or on, on site to say let me write these songs and they were based on their past experiences? Well with Motown for instance, okay. with Motown the company, they had something for everybody. They had producers, great producers, they had great singers, great songwriters, great arrangers and such. Okay. And then you got people like Smokey Robinson, come on. You know, you had all, all of the great songwriters. They were writing those songs. Some of the 
producers would come to the group and talk to you and ask you, get a feel of who you were vocally and who you were inside, and then they would interpret your feelings and put them into songs. Okay. And, and it would work like that, but some of it just comes from the heart, what you live through, what you feel. You okay, know? now what the terminology, solid song, mm -hmm. what exactly is a solid song? A solid song is great lyrics and a great melody and a very strong production, and you need people at the top of their game in all three of those areas. You need great musicians, great singers, and a great songwriter. Okay, I am currently a minister, and I minister all the time. Mm -hmm. And I talk about empowerment, I talk about self-love, loving for people, mm -hmm. you know, and that's my thrust, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I do. You know, but when I look at the lyrics like Sugar Pie, mm -hmm. Honey Bunch, mm -hmm. you know, I can't help myself, I love you, Mm. And nobody else. I mean, mm. you wanna, you a wanna, simple you, way to love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just so simple. I mean, how how wonderful it is it to look in somebody's eyes and say, "Yes, I love you." Yes, and, and, and mean, mean it. that. There you go, and mean, and mean it. Mean that. And mean know? it. It's just it's just as simple as that. You yes. know what I mean? It, it gets difficult when you try to think about it. If if it's in here, yes, it's, it's easily interpreted. And we talked about sugar pie, mm -hmm. honey bunch. What was the last time that you heard somebody call somebody a sugar pie? Honey Bunch. You know what I'm saying? Let what me was the think last about time? that. Don't, don't, don't tell about your age, okay? <laughs> don't go that far. Yeah, I, I <laughs> can tell you, it had, to be, you know it had to be my grandfather. Somebody. He was very, very kind and sweet like that. So it had to be him. You know, he had an endearing word for everybody. You okay. Know? Mm -hmm. He'd see? probably call you Rose because you have that beautiful red dress on. Okay. You know, so he, he would interpret things like that. Okay, but that was something that was going on during that era. Absolutely. Okay, so we, we lost that, though. We've yes, lost we that. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. Now you want to know how we lost yeah, that, that's, right? Okay, go ahead. Well, do you want to know how we lost that as it relates to music? I want to know, we're going to talk about both. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about relationships, and we want to mm -hmm. talk about music. Let's okay. talk about the music right now. Okay, well, yes. as, as far as what's going on now, it, it's the music industry you got to think about it like um, a lot of people are down on the rap music and stuff like that i don't particularly like a lot of the lyrics that they're doing and, and things like that but it's not those guys that's promoting this music the, it, it's sony music it's universal music it's those big companies and those uh, uh, uh i could name a, a thousand of them i want you to hold that thought mm -hmm. though mm -hmm. so we're going to come back after a commercial break and he's going to explain to us exactly where he left off Thank absolutely you. Come right back. Yeah. okay Slam deal this week at Paul's TV. Get a free Boston acoustic soundbar, a free Android 10 inch tablet, or a free 32 inch LCD TV with your qualifying TV purchase. And get it all with free delivery and our low price guarantee. It's a grand slam deal, not online, not at the warehouse stores. It's only at Paul's TV, the king of big screen, inside all Art Van Furniture stores. You probably think you have to know somebody to hire a great law firm. Well, you do know somebody. You know me, Jeffrey Feiger. You know what I stand for. You know that I fight for my clients' rights. And you know that Feiger Law has 18 of the best trial lawyers in America. Insurance companies, corporations, and government are counting on you to hire a lawyer who will take any settlement they offer. But who will stand up for you when your life is on the line? We will. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Call 1-877-656-2548 today. Get the top networks and popular channels like AMC and Discovery in digital quality. Plus, never miss a thing with HD DVR service. Record your favorite shows and watch them on your schedule in stunning HD. Call 1-877-656-2548 and get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months. Don't forget to ask how you can get Xfinity On Demand with the best in entertainment anytime on any device, plus premium channels like HBO and Showtime. Get Xfinity TV for just $14.99 a month for six months with HD DVR service free for three months. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-877-656-2548 and make the switch now. 
Xfinity, the future of awesome. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, my guest today is Mr. Lawrence Payton Jr. of the Four Tops. And we're talking about have lo our love songs. Our love songs, heartfelt love songs. Are they a thing of the past? Oh, Lawrence, <laughs> you may have to dance, okay? <laughs> you may have to dance, <laughs> okay? But when we left off, I asked you, because according to music, the mm -hmm. lyrics, right. okay, why have they changed? Well, you know, like I was saying earlier, you, got, you have these big companies, Sony Music, Universal Records, that are really controlling all of these other independent record companies. These songwriters and these young artists are not promoting and, and their music. They're not marketing it. These, these companies are marketing. And they're telling these people what to put out. In other words, it, whatever it sells, you know, it's like a fast food mentality. And you have, you have, um, you have young people that are heading these companies. They have nothing, they have no idea what, what arrangers are, producers are, uh, what a song is, what it takes to do that. And, and we, back in the day, I'll give you an example. Back in the day, you could go and you could be a songwriter, you sit at the piano and da 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 da, and you write your song and you send it to a publishing company. It could be on an out of tune piano. They could hear those lyrics, hear those melodies, and know that it was a song. Not, never worry about the production. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, when you, when you go see an executive, you have to have the whole production the way it is. You get to have the, you know, the lights show and everything. When you present this song, they have no idea of what a song is. And I think that is the reason why our, our, our material, that our songs are being diluted. It's a diluted type thing, you know, because the companies just want to sell records. They don't care what it is. They don't care if you're talking about your mama, your, your kids, or whatever. They don't care about any of that. They just want to sell records. Okay, so saying that, mm -hmm. again, because of my spiritual background, mm -hmm. you know, have we lost something morally? In, in, in the song, okay, you know, because like I think you mentioned to me yes, when we were we talking. Yes, we had to. Okay. We had, we had okay. something. Okay. Absolutely. So does that dictate then? You it's know, not was... lost. It's it's lost within the business. It's not lost within us. Okay. We are still the loving people that we still like to write those songs. But if somebody, if you had to feed your child and somebody's telling you that, well, I'll give you this two million dollar record deal, but you got to sing, I want to see your booty shake. Okay. And then you got a, a hungry child. You, 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 even if you don't want to do it, and if it's against everything, you're going to think twice about not doing it. You know, right. you're going to want to do it because everybody has to make a living. You right. know, right? I and, understand. And it's a sad thing. You yes. know, it's, it's really sad. Sad for our children. Yes. Of all genres, all ages, all colors. You know, yes. sad for them. Yes. Because they're the ones that's going to have to deal with the backlash years later. Mm -hmm. Remember, I mentioned earlier that uh, you're like ministers, mm -hmm. and it's like you dictate back then, you know, how people, how men and women, we, they related to one another. Absolutely. Divorce rates are going up. People are living together. You know, uh, nobody's in a committed relationship. It's all about what can you do for me. It's almost like right. love is a bad thing to feel. It's, and, it's, and, and not only that, it's like if you're vulnerable, you don't want to feel that because then you're going to let your guard down. It, it's you know it's all of that. It's, right. it's all of that. It's just, it goes back again to the, to the music. Look at the lyrics content of what we're hearing. You know, we're hearing, uh, oh, I, the, I got five babies' mamas. Mm -hmm. you, no commitment. No so commitment. So we commitment. ain't talking about marriage no or commitment. nothing. No commitment, right. And nobody's saying, oh, you know, the worst thing in the world, I have children, you okay. know. And the, the, the one thing I want most, especially for my sons, is to have their children with one woman. woman. Don't have five oh, children with five yes. different babies' yes. mamas and all of that. Yes. There's nothing to that. Yes. But that's what we're dealing with now. It, everything is... Uh, it's almost like we're under attack, socially under attack. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not to get too deep, but it, it go feels ahead, go like ahead that. Deep. Go ahead and you know, deep. It, it you're under attack. Like right, because yeah. not only that, like you said, it's, it's, the music is actually dictating the behavior of our society. It, it you know does. What I'm Look because at the, people you don't know. You said that so well. Yeah, yeah. I was, we were in Florida. We were at some club in Florida, and it was basically, it was a, a, a multi-age club, young people and older people there. Everybody's partying. So this young lady asked me to dance. Okay. I get up and I dance with her and she's like bored to death, right? And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this, look, I'm like, doing this, y'all. He's doing it, okay. I'm really doing this, right? <laughs> and she was just like huh, bored as we're dancing. I could see it on her face. She said, excuse me. She said, I'm going to show you how to dance. She says, yeah, come here. Oh. She called somebody. I stepped to the side. I couldn't believe it, right? She was too young for me to even think, right, to, to right. even think about anything, but it's just her mentality. 
this girl and this guy got up there and then she went to flip and he turned her over and then she had her hands on the ground and he was gyrating on her like this oh. and it was almost like having sex. But to, but to, to them, that was the dancing. way to dance. They were dancing. What I was doing was boring and old school, it right. was old fashioned, right. because that's what the society and the records say do, you know. Shake your butt, drop it down low as far as you can, you, you know, you ain't nothing but a chicken head, all of that kind of stuff, you know. And the, the, the women are assimilating that, you know, and the guys are too. You know, yes. they want to be gangsters and they want to call her bad names. But that's not really who we are. Right, right. You know, we're really not, we're not like that. You no. Know, everybody wants to be happy and everybody wants to have love and everybody wants to have friendship. But if it's not in style, especially these days now, you know, you, you're almost scared to say it. It's, um, you know, you're almost just, it's almost like being a communist back in the McCarthy days. You right. Know? Okay, but it's see, just, <laughs> but Lawrence, look at this. Now you talked about the industry. Mm -hmm. Who's controlling the industry? Okay, are they, I mean, like people in our age group, are older they, people are, are controlling. They, okay, that's that's, that's and, something they say. And, but see what they're doing. These, these older people are controlling it. These older people are handing their business, turning their business over to these younger people. And then these older people are controlled. This is big business, so they're controlled by other people to have another agenda. You know, whether it be and you got to look at it like this. You know, it 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 it's. Um, it's just a part, it's all a part of the derogatory lyrics and music is all a part of the social genocide that's going on. I mean, that's all it is. What else could it be? What else could it be? What else could it be? Well, you know what, we're going to find out what else mm -hmm. could it be when we come back mm -hmm. after commercial break. We'll be, back, we'll be right back. Don't go away. You're going to tell us in a few minutes. Do you have the right Medicare health plan? Are you saving money? And are you with the company you can rely on? The answer to your questions could be a Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan from Humana with the benefits and savings you want. You can get all the facts in this free booklet, Making Medicare Supplement Insurance Work for You, and it's yours just by calling 1-888-238-5497. For a competitive monthly premium, you get peace of mind knowing many of your medical costs will be covered, all from a company that's been helping people with Medicare for more than 20 years. And with a Medicare supplement plan like that offered by Humana, you always have the freedom to go to any doctor, specialist, or hospital. The booklet is free, and there's no obligation. So call now, 1-888-238-5497. That's 1-888-238-5497. Not everyone can dunk, but everyone can dip. Checkers new $2 Chicken Dippers box. White meat chicken deliciously seasoned, just begging to be dipped. Six delicious dippers, plus Checkers famous seasoned fries for an unbeatable two bucks. It's a slam dip. Checkers, feast on. Love loaded fries? Get them loaded three different ways, only at Checkers. Every LASIK candidate deserves the best, and the Yaldo Eye Center Michigan's leader has performed more LASIK procedures than anyone in Michigan and always uses state-of-the-art lasers. Dr. Yaldo knows that affordability is a serious issue, and this week is offering LASIK for $6.99 an eye. Regardless of your prescription, you demand the best. That's why his patients say it's not just LASIK. It's LASIK with Dr. Yaldo. The Yaldo Eye Center. Call 1-888-881-2020. I went to another store to sell my jewelry. They told me it would take four weeks to get my money. I need that money now. If this has happened to you, you've been dealing with the wrong jewelry broker. At Zeedman's, you get your cash fast. I got the cash I needed the minute I needed it. We'll turn your diamonds, gold, watches into the cash you need now. Our international buyers allow us to pay more for it. At Zeedman's, I had my cash in minutes. The cash you need when you need it. It's easy at the Z. Zeedman's, Detroit and Southfield. Welcome back. We're talking to Mr. Lawrence Payton Jr. of the legendary Four Tops, and we're just excited about this show. We're talking about our love songs, a thing of the past. 
Lawrence, you mm -hmm. wanted to tell me about something about your mother? Yeah, speaking Maybe. of love songs, okay. right? This is right. an amazing story. It gets okay. you, right? My mother and father were going through their little divorce at the time, okay. right? Okay. Very good friends. They had been together since they were 14 years old. Okay. Six children together, right? Okay. So anyway, she's calling him about something, and they're going back and forth on the phone arguing. So she's on the other end, so he puts the phone down. He says, well, I'm rehearsing. I don't have time for this. And he goes back into the back room. We had a studio in the house, and he's rehearsing with the guys. She's on the phone. She said, will you tell your daddy I'm over there on my way right now? She's fussing and she's hollering. I said, well, okay, mama, and blah, blah, blah. And I hang up the phone, five minutes later, she's there, right? She's <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I open the door, she comes through the door. Where is he at? I said, he's in the back. <laughs> she got to the hallway, and then there's a kitchen in front of the hallway, and then there's a door, and my dad's studio is behind this door, off the kitchen. She got to the kitchen, she started hearing them sing. They were singing, uh, uh, it's the way nature planned it. Okay. And this beautiful harmony comes out of this back. It was so beautiful, right? Now she's in a rage, right? Right, right, right. By the time she got to that back door where they were, and she heard that harmony, she just stopped in her tracks. Honest to God, she stopped. She said, wow, that sounds so beautiful. <laughs> and then she sat down for a minute. She said, give me a cup of coffee, baby. And then we talked for a minute, they're still singing. And she was like, oh, that sounds so beautiful. About five minutes later, she was like, well, tell your dad that I'll see him tomorrow and I'll come, come by about four o'clock. And I'm looking at her like, oh, Dr. Lord. Jekyll, what's, what's going so on? So it ever was bothering her. Yeah, what is it? It, it was bothering her no it, more. It just took it right out of her. And she just, she just floated out the door, got in her car and went home. And it was just amazing, but yeah. it was that, it was the song, it was the music, you know? Yeah. It just really caught her right yeah. there, you know? And, and you know they always say that music soothes the savage beast? Oh, it does. And, and that is so true. It does. Yeah. I swear, I've seen it with my own eyes, yes. right? Yes. So every time she got mad at me after that, I'd sing that song. Okay. It didn't work for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here, you know. <laughs> you, you, your son. No, it don't yeah, work for it doesn't work for me. I understand. Yeah, not at all. I understand. At all. But you know, we're at this place now. You know, mm -hmm. we talked about how it was. Yeah. We talked about how it is. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, one of the things you said, you said that that love songs they haven't left. No. You know, they're still here. They are. But but not too many artists are singing those songs. So can can we bring those love songs back? Lawrence? Yes, we can. Okay. Because you know what, I, you know, and you guys out there can really back me up on this. Everybody likes good music and good lyrics. I don't care who That's you right. are. There is no time limit on it. There's no style of music. There's no any of that, no genre of music or any. If it's a good song with good melody and good lyrics and it hits your ear, you're going to like it. Whether it's country, you, you ever heard a country yeah. song you like? Yeah. Yeah. You've heard a, a opera, a opera oh, yeah. song you like? I love all kind of music. Yes. All kind of music, yes. you know. So th yes. that's my point, you know. So there is no, as long as we have songwriters that are 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 um, have integrity and boldness. and are true boldness, boldness. Yes. and are true to themselves yes. and true to to the music God and just you know put out what's what's in your spirit. But like I said earlier. You got executives dictating to you what to do. They, they tell us that. Because it's all about that dollar. Oh, it is. You know, for the love of money. It is. It's the root of all evil. And in some, yes. in, in some companies will actually tell you, if you don't do it like this, then we're not promoting your stuff. It's just like that. You know, because they're, they have a, they're executives now. You know, they come in from college, they have suits. So it have nothing to do with, with, like the old days with Motown, everybody was a specialty at what they did. None of that now. Mm -hmm. Just executive dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I look at a lot of, like, I love the Grammy Awards. Mm -hmm. And there have been artists that I've seen who I don't see anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, what's her name? Now, I mean, is it Tracy Chat? Yeah. Chapman? Tracy? Yeah. Okay, Ch black girl. Right. And she's saying these beautiful lyrics. She had a little guitar and everything. Where is she? Case in point. You know, well, what about Lauren Hill? Case in you know, point. You know, where's Lauren? You know what I'm saying? These are people who wrote their own lyrics. They were heartfelt. They were from the heart. Okay, they, they came out, they run their little Grammy, and you don't see them anymore. So well, I, is that an example of, of somebody saying, it, you know, it, get the road jack, well, that's what it is. No I mean, it's at, at, after a certain age, okay. very hard to get a record deal. You have to, like, like even us, you know, we'd have to go through, through an independent company. It's very, very hard to get a record deal because they're signing young artists. And the reason they are signing these young artists is because they know that they can get a trend like Justin Bieber. You see how many records he oh sold God. so <laughs> fast. Possibly, but yeah. they can get one of those young artists and they could offer one or two records maybe. They could make 40, 50, 60, 70 million dollars. But they I, don't need to make any more off of this artist. So the artist goes to them and says, when they first signed, they were unknown. That signed for $10 or whatever. I'm exaggerating, but you, you, you get the point. 
And when they come, when the contract comes back up after they sold these mega uh, records, the company will be like, well, you want how much? Well, you know, how much to sign? How many million? Okay, let me get back to you. Release that cat. And then they go sign somebody else, put him in that same position and, and market him two albums and get the next person. You see it all the time. Okay, but Lawrence, the, what is the solution? How do we get the love songs to come back? Just, give, just wind that up. Just give me a short answer. How you, do we get you the, know how we do that? How do we do that? We write what we feel and we stand behind it and we put it out. You know what I'm, if, if you know, we're all saying, you know, I don't like this and I don't like this, but we, we're buying that stuff. You know what I'm saying? These, you, you parents out there are buying some of those derogatory songs for your spoiled children because yeah. they want you to. Right. Don't buy it. Right. Thank buy you. the good music. Lawrence, I really mm -hmm. do appreciate everything you said. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I agree with you 100%. Absolutely. Thank you for being a guest on our show. Absolutely. You know, hey, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with my inspirational thought for today. If you or someone you know has overcame great challenges in life, be it health, life experiences, or a spiritual journey, email Dr. T Show at www.producer at drtford.com. To advertise, donate, or support this program, contact us today at www.producer at drtford.com. More information on this program is available at drtford.com. GNLD, empowering people since 1958 with life-changing products. Vitality Aloe Vera Plus reduces stress, fights fatigue, normalizes blood sugar. Tree NN Grain Concentrate, enhance cellular function. Full Motion, renewals and repairs cartilage in joints for comfort. For more information, call the ESIM team. Independent GNLD distributors at 313-408-6489. 313-408-6489. GNLD. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I thank you for tuning in. I was asked why I am doing this TV show, and I want to share with you why I do it. I do it for you, to give you insight, inspiration, and motivation through our guests and different topics. My desire is to empower you to reach your full potential and fulfill your destiny and walk in your purpose. It's through this TV broadcast, my books, and my speaking that I am fulfilling my purpose, and I want to encourage you to desire to do the same. Whatever drives you and whatever is burning in your heart, act on it and believe God to fulfill your destiny because you have an assignment to fulfill while you are on this earth. Make up in your mind that from this day forth, you are going to experience your best life now. And remember to be an inspiration to others as you discover your own uniqueness. God bless.